Hello, 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 influencers. Hello. Happy Winning Wednesday, Warrior. How have your day been? <laughs> My name is Shay. As you all know, I am the visionary for Wow Inspire, the Wow Inspired movement. And tonight, 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 I will be talking to you about um, Wake Up Warrior. Your next is now. Um, and this topic actually came to me as I was, um, as I was, as I had started to prepare for, um, as I had started preparing and writing down some things some years ago, I used to always said I wanted to help people to realize that their next is now when they're intentional and strategic. So tonight I'm going to be talking to you. Hello, cousin Michelle. Hey, Bree. I'm going to be talking to you from the topic, wake up warrior. Your next is your now. Wake up warrior. Your next is now. So, um, today has been amazing. I got up this morning, got on the prayer call and could God almighty, uh, one of the ministers as she was praying, she began to say that his burdens, my burdens is his burdens. And in that moment, I just began to bless him. I began to bless God because I realized that my burdens are his burdens. He carried my burdens a long time ago. Hey sis. So, hey, Jasmine. So, y'all share this out before I jump into this. Um, tonight, we just, we just relaxing. I'm on the couch tonight. So, I'm super, super excited. I have some homework I need to do. But again, like I said, in this season of my life, I, we have to be not just myself, but we have to be intentional, strategic, consistent in all that we do. So I appreciate you all tuning in. I appreciate all the support that many of you have shown since the Wow Inspired movement started. We have been in this thing for about a little over a month now. And I got to be honest, I am super excited as to where God is taking the Wow Inspired movement. On Monday the 22nd, um, I will be, I am honored to be a part of the Women Who Lead After Work networking event as one of their panelists. And we're going to be talking about uh, branding your business and, you know, I'll tell you, I'll just share. It was a struggle. Um, I defeated myself most of the time um, when I had decided, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I had defeated myself. But um, as I said before, every week God gives me, um, and every day God gives me an adjective to put with the day. And I can tell you it's been about... Um, about two months ago on Wednesdays, for whatever reason, God had kept speaking to me about Wake Up Warrior. At that time, I did not understand exactly what that meant. I just knew, like, Wake Up Warrior, this was something really great. Like, ooh, yes, wake up. But today, I am bringing before you exactly the way it was brought to me. And Two months ago, when I started hashtagging Wake Up Warrior on a Wednesday, I'm um, hey and Vicky, hey Jasmine. When I started hashtagging Wake Up Warrior Wednesday, um, a two months ago, probably a little longer than that. Um, as I say, at that time, I wasn't really sure as to what what I meant or what God was saying to me. Um, when I was posting it, I, I mean, I would hear pastor preach about being battle tested and battle ready. And I mean, it was just amazing. However, tonight I come to encourage you. I come to inspire you to understand that in all that you go through and when you know what you know and you were called to lead and you were called to do what God has purposed you to do, that there's a warrior down on the inside of you that must be woken up, right? So my encouragement tonight is, you know, I'm not speaking to, um, I'm not speaking to the mindset that I, I, I can't do this. I'm not speaking to the mindset that's saying I don't have what it takes. I'm not speaking to the mindset that says, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not speaking to the mindset that says 
I got to measure up to um, the people that are seasoned in the area in which I'm trying to pursue. I'm not talking to that mindset. I'm talking to the mindset. I'm talking to the determined mindset that says, I know I was purposed to do more than what I'm currently doing. I know I was purposed to do the job that I'm in, even though I'm experiencing burnout, even though I'm going through some challenges and some struggles on my job, um, and I'm feeling like, why am I even, why am I even still here? I know that, you know, five years ago when I started, I was super excited to be in the role, to be in the position. I'm speaking to you and I'm telling you tonight that God himself is telling you that there's a warrior in you that must be awakening. Yeah, so I'm going to slow down because I get so excited. So when you identify that you are a warrior, um, it's... It's understanding that even as a warrior, um, if God says, I put a warrior down on the inside of you, he's already equipped you with the necessary tools that you need in order to slay. Last Saturday, I talked about it's time to slay. And when I was speaking on it's time to slay, I wasn't speaking on my, my face beat to the guys. I don't have any makeup on tonight. And like I said, I'm not trying to get hung up in that this season. I want my natural skin to show so you'll see my blemishes, you'll see my freckles and all of that. Because what I realize is that it's deeper than the natural slay, it's deeper than the beauty. But so when I say it's time to slay, what I mean when I say it's time to slay and how it's time to slay walks hand in hand with Wake Up Warrior because when you are when you are a person that possess a warrior down on the inside of you, God has already equipped you like he did David with the necessary tools you need in order to fight. Uh, some of y'all might not get that, but what I said is when, when God has found a warrior in you, he already equipped you with the necessary tools you need in order to fight. Yes, you. So what I'm saying tonight is that we are in a season where God is saying that I need my warriors to be awakening. I need them to understand that although they feel like I'm not qualified or they feel like I don't have what it takes to walk in my purpose, um, although they feel like, um, oh, the odds are against me or the very people that I confided in at once upon a time and I look to for encouragement, they are no longer the same people that are feeding back into me what I was feeding into them. He said, it's all right because I've equipped you already for the assignment. Hey, Ty, I've already equipped you for the assignment. So God just had me to come on tonight to encourage you that there is a warrior down on the inside of you. And literally the words that you are receiving, not only on this live, but the words that you have been receiving, even from complete stranger, even from complete strangers that you cannot identify with. You can't identify with that person that you see before you, but you can identify with what they're saying because what they're saying has nothing to do with how well I know you. What they're saying has everything to do with what God has purposed you to do. So even when they do not know you, even when they've never had a conversation with you, they are able to speak to the warrior within you. You know why? Because when you are a warrior, you can't hide. I don't care what, how many people are in the multitude or in the crowd. You can be all the way in the back, but you cannot hide. That's why, um, because God stamped his seal of approval on you. Y'all share this out. Um, he stamped this seal of approval on you. And because he stamped this seal of approval on you and you were called to lead, you were called, you were equipped and called to do it, what it is that you have to do. So anyway, your next is now. Your next is now. Listen, I, I actually wanted to tie into, um, I wanted to tie, uh, at, like I said, my foundation st strictly comes from God. Um, it comes from biblical principles. So I can't give you wisdom that hasn't been first given to me. And as it's being given to me, I always ask God to help me to be able to relate it to his word. So because Easter is around the corner, um, as I was preparing this uh, message to give to you all tonight, I said, God, give me some word. So he took me in Luke 
22. And in Luke 22, what was happening is God was speaking to um, the disciples and he was preparing them for his death, right? He was preparing them for everything that he was about to go through before his resurrection. And in the preparation, God had made, gave some specific instructions for uh, his disciples to go into this house. And when they go into the house and he told them, you know, who he was going to, who they were encounter. And he also told them what the room would look like where the, uh, where the Passover feast was going to be held. So when they came into the room, um, they all sat at the table preparing for the feast, um, be preparing for the Passover before the suffering, before he was crucified, before his resurrection. And as he was sitting at the table, he began to speak to his disciples. He began to tell his disciples that this would be the last time that I would have a meal with you. He told his disciples, he said to them that as they took a drink of the, uh, of the wine, he said, you're going to do this in remembrance of me. But he was present at the time that this all took place. And it's just like we take communion, but do we really know what we take communion for? Are we taking communion just because it's the formality of the church to do so every first uh, Sunday? Or are we taking communion because we really know what it means? But back to what I was saying, before God went through the suffering before he went and was hung on the cross before his resurrection. He set the disciples down. He set those that followed with him closely. He set them down at a table and he prepared them for what was to come. And just like many of us, um, we get a word and someone tells us, you know, be on guard, be on standby. Um, I have an assignment for you. They give us specific instructions and we're like, this sounds crazy. This sounds weird. I'm not going to do this. Why, 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 why do I have to be the one to carry it out? So anyway, God was preparing his disciples for what was to come, right? And in his presentation to, um, prepare them for what was coming, they did not want to receive it. Um, and I can only imagine they didn't want to receive it because he was such great benefit to them. I mean, it's just like many of us. We surrounded by people who really enjoy us being in our company because we bring uh, the authentic us to them. When we come around, we don't sugarcoat. Um, we are who we are 24 seven. We're not changing up. We're not flip flopping. They're not getting one person a day and somebody else tomorrow. So they enjoy us being in their company. However, What's happened here is God is speaking not to, uh, not to the emotional side of the disciples, but he's speaking to the warrior in them. Because the one thing I realize is that even in our weakness, God sees something beyond what we can see. Even when we're not at the place where we feel like I'm, I'm, I'm qualified, I am ready. He sees something in us that we don't see. So I can imagine God was speaking to the warrior in his disciples, preparing them for what he was about to go through. And while he was delivering the message and giving them what they needed to prepare for what was to come, they didn't want to receive it because again, we can be prepared. This is a side note. This came to me earlier. We can be prepared and not ready. Or we can be ready and not prepared. What do you mean, Shay? What do you mean? What do you mean you can be prepared and not ready? And you can be ready and not prepared. So you can understand that somebody got a problem with you and they want to fight you. I remember when I was in high school, I remember having an issue with this one girl. And, and, and we had in our mind like, oh, I'm going to fight her. Oh, we're going to fight after school because we ain't fighting in school, but we're going to fight after school. And I was ready because I already knew that we were planning to fight. I was ready, but I wasn't prepared because I did not know what my opponent was going to bring to the fight. 
So I was ready because I already knew it was happening, but I wasn't prepared. And although God had prepared his disciples for what was going to happen through his suffering and through the time that he would be persecuted, even in his resurrection, he prepared them. So they knew what was going to happen because he prepared them, but they wasn't ready because their emotions was still connected to the man that they uh, seen work the miracles. Their emotions were still connected to the signs and wonders that they seen this man do like, huh, he can't be, he can't be one of us because I desire and I long to do what he does. But anyway, today I'm coming to tell you that God simply wants to wake up the warrior in you. It has nothing to do with who's not ready for you to step um, out and, and launch um, and launch into the deep. It's not, it's not about who's not ready for that. But how many times is he going to say to you, Ty, I've already equipped you for the assignment. And how many times will he say, uh, Aquana, I, I, I told you, I gave you the instructions to carry out this vision, but yet you keep putting it on hold. How many times is he going to say to Johnette, Johnette, I, I, I sent these people to you because you have what they need. You have in a nation that you must influence, right? But because we measure up or we try to measure up to the expectation of people, we miss the mark. But tonight God is calling, uh, he's coming for, and he's calling forth the warrior that's within you. Um, so what I want to say is that your next is right now. I can't say God, when, when God was preparing the disciples for what was going to happen to him, I mean, granted he was still in his nap, in his, uh, his physical body, but he didn't one time say, no, let's push this off till next week, or this can wait till tomorrow. So literally I'm just coming to encourage you that there is an urgency that's taking place in the earth realm for the influencers, for the warriors to come forth because there is a great assignment that you must carry out. No one can carry out your assignment, LaDanya. Somebody is dependent on you. And because of that, there is an urgency in the earth realm that we as warriors, we must wake up and realize that this thing is not about me. Shay, it's not about you. Again, I say all the time, wow inspired is not my brand. Wow inspired is a vision that God said, you know what, Shay? You're going to be the midwife to many others. Because I'm creating a movement through Wow Inspired. This doesn't have anything to do with you personally. Even if it was only one person watching tonight, I still have to give it to the one as if 5,000 were watching. Ah, yeah, that's because I realized that this thing ain't local. This is going to be global. So in my moment where he's saying, oh, I need to use you. I need you to be the one that's going to sacrifice something greater than just, oh, a piece of money. Because reality is, is that I can give you money because I got it to give. But the greatest sacrifice of all is sacrificing who I am, sacrificing who I want to be. For who he wants me to be. Yeah, wake up, warrior. Wake up. Wake up. God is calling for the warrior in you to wake up and realize that what he placed down on the inside of you, what he purposed you to do, cannot wait until tomorrow because next is now, Ty. Next is now. We don't have time to wait any longer. It's almost if I told you and I said to a couple of my friends, people don't want to talk about death. But God set his disciples down to prepare them for his death. But they didn't want to hear it because it was in their mind. They're like, I cannot imagine. What am I going to do without you? You're the person I call on. You're the person I lean on. You're the person that I look to for guidance and I look to it for advice. But God had to give himself. He had to sacrifice himself so that we as people wouldn't be stingy with what he gave us. God didn't give us these gifts for us. He didn't give them to us for us to prosper. He gave them to us 
for somebody else to prosper, for someone else to be blessed, for someone else to say, you know what? If she is comfortable standing all by herself in her purpose, in the passion that God put down on the inside of her, what makes me so different where I can't do the same thing? Yes. What makes me so different? Wake up, warrior. Wake up. God is pleading with his warriors that nobody else is going to wait any longer. Nobody else can wait. That, that, oh, I got next, I got next. No, baby, you got now. You got right now. Right now. Tomorrow is not promised to me, so I had to give the message when he said give it. He said, no, not next, but it's now. I equip them with some tools and they don't even understand how heavy they packing. They don't understand how heavy they packing. They don't understand that even in their go through, even in their growing through, that I am utilizing what they currently experiencing as a testimony to set somebody else free. Ah, wake up warrior. Do you understand what is happening? Do you not know that somebody is waiting on you? Yeah, somebody's waiting. Guess, guess what? Like I said on my status today, listen, we, I don't have time for the caddy stuff. I don't have time for the drama because what I know to be true, what I know to be a fact is that we don't have the time to waste any longer. I don't have the time to roll my boat backwards because guess what? When I roll it backwards, that's taking me farther back from what he purposed me to do. But when I roll it forward, it pro, it, it expedient, it, it sends somebody else's process and it expedites it. So I told somebody today that even when you decide that I'm a warrior and I'm waking up. This is the dawning of a new day. I'm waking up. I don't care what I got to sacrifice, but I'm waking up. I don't care who don't like who I am or the message that I'm delivering, but I'm waking up because I know I was purpose. I know I was called to do more than what I'm currently settling for. When you get to that point, understand you're still going to go through some battles. Yup. Yup. You're going to go through some battles because you, people got to test to see, is this thing for real or is this only for this season? Is this just the emotions or is this for real? Is this only because uh, she's going through another phase or is this really for real? And when you identify that, you're still going to go through those tests. Guess what? You don't lose favor through your frustration. I told somebody today that you don't lose favor in your frustration. Guess what? God's just giving you frustrated favor. Ha! Y'all don't want to talk about that. But God has a way of giving you frustrated favor. And in your frustration, he will silence you to allow people surrounding you that's watching you to identify that this is not a moment, but this is a lifestyle. Yeah, something's different about LaDonia. Something's different about Dre, but I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. But in the moment of frustration, uh, we are able to identify favor never left my life. Favor ups and moves when we up and move suddenly. Favor ups and moves when we don't identify this is a, only a form of distraction. So yes, wake up, warrior. You can't prolong what supposed to, you're supposed to do today, tomorrow. You're not promised tomorrow. You are not promised tomorrow. You're not purposed for tomorrow. The message I have for Missy today, who's to say, Tomorrow, time is going to get away from us and I'm not able to go talk to her. So I got to be intentional about making it my business to contact Missy. Because guess what? What I got to say to her may be the very thing that resonates in her that wakes up the warrior within her. We can't be this selfish, y'all. We can't be. 
We can't be. We cannot be selfish. We have to realize that there is a warrior down on the inside of me. And because of the warrior that's on the inside of me, I have to do what I was purposed to do. I have to do what I was purposed to do. I don't care who don't like me. I don't care who don't accept me. I don't care who think, oh, well, she thinks she... No, I don't think I'm better than anybody. But I realize what I'm worth. I realize who I who I am. I realize the value that God has in me. Yes, uh, uh, yes, Sister Johnette. I realize it. I'm not better than nobody. Because guess what? Before it all happens, before it all happens, thank you, Dre. Before it all happens, God had already prepared us. So tonight, my encouragement to you is not just be prepared, but get ready. So get ready, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, right? So again, he's calling for you. He's calling for his influencers. He's calling for people that's going to be the authentic them to deliver his word in a way that anyone, even someone that can't read, a baby will be able to identify with what you're saying. It's not so deep that, oh, well, what is she saying? And it's not all about, you know, uh, I'm going to come to you with so, such big words because most of the time we start speaking on a level because we want to fit in with a group of people. But the reality is, is God just want the authentic you. I don't have to make, I don't have to come up with these big lavish words, eloquent words, to deliver a word when, listen, I'm going I'm to give you an essay when all it is is two sentences. Wake up, warrior. Your next is now. Oh, well, God told me to tell you. And no, 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 no. We got to make it as plain and simple as what it is. We make it complicated. We make it hard. People, we allow people to put in our minds that, oh, well, if you ain't doing this, you can't do that. No. If God has already given you, he's already granted you access and he's already equipped you with the tools. He don't call anybody a warrior because everybody can't fight battles. You see how many people Goliath, how many people Goliath defeated, but it took little old David. Saul thought I was, I'm, I'm the one that's going, I'm, I'm, the, I'm going to be the one that take and, 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 and take Goliath out of his misery. When David stepped up and said, oh, I'll go in. Saul looked at him like, you? This Goliath is 6'9". You barely 5'3". So don't be distracted by what I look like. I used to worry about how I looked on camera. But God had to tell me it's not what you look like on camera because I, it's not. People are not looking at you for to see what you look like. I don't have people tuning into you to see what you got on. I got them tuning into you because they need to hear what you're saying. It's the way you articulate and deliver what I am giving you to say to my people. So tonight he's telling me to tell you it's time for you to wake up. You are a warrior. Wake up, warrior. Wake up, warrior. Wake up, warrior. You don't have time to say I got next because your next is your now. How would you feel if you went to God and you prayed to him and said, God, I got my loved one and they are in, in the hospital and they are sick unto death. God, I need you to do a miracle. And he answers back to you. Well, let me let me think about it. Come back tomorrow. How would that make you feel? And this is the way this stuff that came to me. And I said, you know what? God, I won't fight your will anymore. I won't fight your will anymore. Yes, wake up, warrior. Your next is now. Because I can't imagine calling on Brandy and say, Brandy, I need a favor. I need you to send me, um, I need you to send me $200 because I'm in the jam. And Brandy has the $200 I need. It's supposed to be my friend and tell me, Shay, no, you wait till next week. What? What? I can't imagine praying for God to deliver my, my baby from his own self. And, and, and God said, no, nah, you wait next month. I'm going to come see about him next month. I can't imagine that. So tonight I'm just telling you, I, I am, I am, listen, 
I'm not even encouraging you. I am pleading with you to wake up, warrior. Your next is right now. You don't have until tomorrow. You don't have until next week. You wouldn't want God to say to you, listen, Brandy, I know, I know you've been praying to me about this job and you got the deadline of tonight at 11 p.m. to let the job know if you're going to take the job or not. You would not be able to handle God saying, oh no, come back tomorrow. I'm going to give you the answer tomorrow when you got a deadline to meet tonight. So we got to take the same perspective, the same expectation we have from God. We have to allow us to allow God to have from us. We want God to answer us right now. We need to be able to move when he say, move right now. When he said to say to my people, I, there's a warrior in you and I need that warrior to be awakened because guess what? The people cannot wait to get what they need from you tomorrow. They need it right now. So again, I am Shay. I am here to inspire the influencer in you. Your next is right now. You don't have, you don't have till tomorrow. You don't have till next week. Your next is now, tonight, 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 tonight. It's not, the transformation will not take place overnight, but you have to be intentional about taking steps to walk in your purpose. Your next, yes, Tawana, your next is right now. Your next is now. Oh God, I'm, I'm pregnant. Yes, Tawana, you are pregnant, but you can't put off tomorrow what is, God is saying you need to do today. Just can't do it. You got to do it tonight. Somebody's on your spirit and in your heart, call them tonight. How would you feel if that was in your spirit and your heart tonight and God gave you a word to give to them and you didn't give it to them? You went to sleep and then tomorrow you wake up and you get news that that person has passed on. How would you feel? How would you feel if somebody had, and I told somebody this before, your obedience depends, somebody's deliverance depends on your obedience. How would you feel if, if someone knew you were sick unto death and God had given them, they were walking around with your healing in their mouth, but because they said, I'm not equipped. I'm not living the way God, you have called me to live. I'm not dotting all my eyes. I'm not crossing all my T's. I can't say this to Shad. How would you feel if you knew they had your healing in their mouth and you did not give it to them? How would you feel? And they didn't give you your healing. How would you feel? So I'm leaving you with that tonight. If somebody had what you needed to break through from your financial struggles, to break through from physical ailments that plague your body, to break through from all of the generational curses and all of the negative things that plagues your mind to keep you from progressing to your next level. How would you feel to know that they had what you need and not give it to you? Yes, Moses had the same response to God. Moses had the same response to God, but God's response back to Moses was, don't even worry about uh, uh, what you got, what you, what you don't have because I'm going to quit. Uh, listen, he always keep a ram in the bush. Moses said, I have, you want me to say this to these people? They're not going to receive me because I got a speech. I got a speech problem. God said, don't even worry about that. Yes, he wasn't an elegant speaker. He was not. God said, don't worry about that because guess what? I'm going to send you Aaron who's going to articulate it in a way that the people will not only will hear it, but it will resonate in their spirit and cause them to move, cause them to do something. So tonight God is saying, Shay, tell my people, I am, I am calling for the warrior in them to be awakened. Wake up, warrior. Your next is now. You don't have till tomorrow. You don't have till next week. You just don't have it. You don't have it. So I try to keep these lives under 30 minutes. But let me tell you, yes, Brandy, he was able to do a whole lot because he sent his cousin Aaron. You lack something, but guess what? Listen, cuz, I got your back. In this season, we, I got so many people that are my brothers and sisters that I ain't even met yet because we connect and they uphold me. 
when I can't even, when I'm not even in a, in a mental mind state to uphold myself. Who's carrying you? <sighs> y'all, y'all, y'all got to purchase this book now. Breaking the code of silence. My chapter is God carried me. And I'm working, and because God carried me, I'm working the win within. Y'all got to get it. Um, the book release will be released in June this year. But yes, who is who is carrying you? Who has committed themselves to you? Who is helping you to walk your process? Guess what? It's just like paying it forward. You owe that same mantle to somebody else. So this is why you have to allow the warrior in you to be awakened. Because guess what? That person, the same way this thing was an emergency to you, it's an emergency to somebody else that's dependent upon you. Your next is right now. You don't have time to wait. I am Shay. I am here to inspire the influencer in you. You, Brandy, you, Tawana, you, LaDonia, you, Cousin Tina, you, Ty, Taisha, Dre, uh, you were called to influence a nation and I am here to inspire the influencer in you. We are live every Wednesday night at 10 PM and every Saturday morning at 10 AM. I love you all to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Again, this is a shared platform. If you can't come to me, I literally, if you want to be on this live, if you want to chime in, if you have overcame some stuff, if you have gotten over people and say, guess what? Yes, I used to be. Somebody said today um, in Bible study, they wrote, they recognized it. They owned it, and guess what? They are now working on it. So if you are in your rowing state and you don't mind sharing with somebody else, please, please, please reach out to me. This is the Wow Inspired Movement, and in this movement, we are sharing this platform because somebody else needs to hear from you. Remember, God is awakening the warrior that's within you. So tomorrow, when you do things differently, and somebody said, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. You looked at them and said, wake up, warrior. Because clearly they are still sleeping. Again, Shay inspiring the influencer in you. Thank you so much for your support. Share this live out. I will be sharing it for anyone that did not catch it. They can catch the replay. I love you all to life. I hope that this has inspired you to wake up the warrior that's within you. I hope this has inspired inspire you to say, wow, I did not see it that way. Wow, I did not think about it that way. I hope this has inspired you to realize that your next is right now. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. You don't have to wait until next week. You can do it right now. I love you all to life. Have a great night.